Welcome to the pub, welcome to my world. I'm SideQuest Publications, and this is a PSA reminding people to frequently back up their data. And as such reminders don't go, I am issuing it because I ran into a problem as a result of not following that advice. A few days ago, I decided I want to try out the Windows Remix program, which of course is not available yet unless you're a member of the Windows uh, Insider program. In order to get Remix, you have to join the fast ring of the uh, preview build in which you agree to try new untested programs and risk all kinds of bugs. Well, I'm sure this was a weird coincidence, but I ran into one hell of a bug. Because the day after downloading the update, my computer refused to boot up. No boot device available, it said. Now, thankfully, in the day and age of having multiple computers in the home, not to mention internet-capable devices such as the one I'm using to record this right now, I was able to do some research on this message, but to no avail. The computer had not come with an installation CD. I couldn't remember if I'd created one a year and a half uh, ago when I bought the thing, and creating one now proved just as useless as not having one. I simply could not boot up the machine past that error message, could not get it to recognize any device. The very furthest I'd gotten was going into the BIOS, changing the boot order to make it recognize the CD DVD drive first, but when the computer prompted me to press any key to boot from a disk, it did not recognize that I was, in fact, trying many different any keys, and it eventually timed out <coughs> Excuse me, and told me once again that no boot device was available. And the worst part of this, the very worst part, I couldn't get it to any stage of recovery that would allow me to back up my data in preparation to get the computer fixed. And until I go to pick up my computer, there is simply no way to know if the computer shop downtown will have any better luck accessing that data than I had. Now, most of my stories are safe enough for the moment. I use the likes of Dropbox as an easy way to access them on multiple devices. Praise be to cloud storage. So as long as that continues to function, I can still work with those. Notes? Not too sure about that. I don't remember if I kept those in my works in progress or not. The most important photo minutes, cover art for works already published, have been posted to various sites online, including Facebook, so I can simply download those again if I had to. Likewise, the intro clips for my various channels. I don't want to download those videos and cut the clips from them, but it is an option if I need it. But the last couple of years of photos, my backlog of videos waiting for me to upload to YouTube, or even to edit so that they're ready to upload, those are all up in the air. Even then, I'm more annoyed than worried. And worried about the price, certainly, but annoyed at myself for not frequently making use of that proper precaution. But not terribly worried about the data that I might lose. I mean, I've got maybe half a dozen unboxing videos in various stages of editing. If those are gone, they're gone. One gameplay video that I could probably recreate if I had to, and a bunch of other videos that I could definitely recreate if I saw the need. Photos? I can always take more photos of the things I'm trying to sell. The ones I'm putting online as stock are on my phone, as are the ones I still need to upload to my travel-themed Instagram. The rest are an annoyance to lose, particularly what few photos I've got of my dog, but I'll survive if I lose them. I just don't want to lose them. And of course, I've, all the things I've uh, bought are things I can simply download, though there are a few freebies that might be gone for good. And finally, there's the matter that this video is, hasn't even been edited outside of YouTube's own system. I'm not about to install a whole bunch of software to my parents' computer, though I could certainly give Adobe Premiere another try. And since Mo Microsoft no longer supports Windows Movie Maker, which, by the way, was removed long before they made a replacement available to the general public, even downloading my usual program is uh, not currently an option. So, fingers crossed that the store can back up my data, and I'll worry about fixing the computer after that. If they can return my data intact, then I think what I'm going to do is upload all of those complete videos... I won't spam my uh, viewers by publishing them right away, but I'll upload them so they're backed up in that sense. Not sure what I'll do with the ones that need editing. Stories and notes I'll continue keeping in Dropbox. Photos are the main concern. Do I dare upload them to cloud storage for the express purpose of backing them up? And of course I'll make it use of external hard drives for the purpose. I'll definitely need to do all that in the future on all new data, even if my current data is lost. Do we really, really hope I'll have the opportunity to use those methods on the current data. But that's all the time we have for now. The pub is now closed. If you'd like to see what else I'm up to or the progress with the computer, then please toss a like or a subscription my way or visit me at sidequestpublications.wordpress.com or consider helping me with the expenses via SideQuest Publications on Patreon. 
and I hope I will see you again. Bye!